fall semester of last year, maybe the early spring semester, um, I actually talked to Lexi Brown. And she was like, you know what we could do? We could fill the roles right now as Beauty and the Beast. And I went, Beauty and the Beast? Why not? So I went into Smith's office and I asked him. The choice of the show wouldn't have been mine originally. It, was, it came from uh, the theater department and I try to listen to the people in the theater department. And, uh, I, I'm a little bit of a spin doctor. And I was like, man, what a great way to open up your new musical theater program by doing one of the biggest shows on Broadway. I said, you, and what you do is when people come in here later, you uh, show them your portfolio, and you say, here are the last three musicals we've done. Fiddler on the Roof, My Fair Lady, Beauty and the Beast. Three pretty big ones. And they go, oh, you guys do big musicals here. Right, we do big musicals here. Then you get kids involved. Um, and he, he was pumped. I'm really, really encouraged as to the success of how this has kicked off uh, uh, the music theater major this year. I want you to know that I view rehearsals like performances. That's hard to understand. It's really hard to understand. Because most of you would never give it a second thought to miss a rehearsal if you've got some bronchial condition or you've got some kind of condition. And that's a hard thing to realize because a lot of you are coming from high schools that maybe had a different tradition. They were a little more lax about this. And rehearsals are really important, vital to the success of the performance. In the long run, I think, I don't think, I know, it's, it's really directly ministry. I shall forego all social activities which interfere with rehearsals and will always be on time. I shall never leave the theater building or stage area until I have completed my performance or until I've asked Mr. Smith. I shall never lose my enthusiasm for the theater because of disappointment or failure, for they are the lessons by which I learn. Come on, guys. Beautiful. Oh. Guest on. I am Monsieur Dearc, and he is the owner of the um, Insane Asylum, where he tries to capture Maurice. Um, he's very creepy. He's a pretty um, one-dimensional character. He wants money, <laughs> and um, he wants to take advantage of um, Gaston and Lefou. play the wardrobe, and actually her name is Madame de la Grande Bouche, and she is this diva of France, or wherever she's from that somehow ends up in the castle as a wardrobe. My name is Anissa Bialfus and I play Babette. She is the French maid in the castle and when a spell gets put on the castle she turns into the Faisal d'Ostel. <laughs> now you really take on my fancy. Oh no! This is the first time in my life that I've gotten to play a, um, a comedic role. Usually I'm either a bad character or I'm the little housewife, you know, Susie Homemaker style, so um, I'm really excited that every time I come on stage I pretty much get to make people laugh and that's something new for me, so it's really exciting. My favorite thing about acting is probably um, being able to be yourself through someone else. Um, I think I get to express myself more by being a different character and um, researching that character. Uh, I think it's harder to be myself just in front of people because I'm so used to playing different people. Being a theater major has been an amazing experience. I have friends that I don't think I'd have if I was in any other field. Okay. But there is no eating in theater. There's no sleeping. <laughs> or sleeping, or breathing, or work, or homework. We get to hang out together on a consistent basis daily and create together. I love being a theater major. We are a special type of people. <laughs> um, we're kind of like vampires. We stay up really late and we are always just out and about. Um, there's so many things that are involved with being a theater major. It's very demanding. Um, we're always here 
building the set, studying lines, um, just right, doing projects and reading plays. We'll get, we'll get moving and stretching and singing. We'll start with Bell, and I'll see if my accompanist is here. Otherwise, I'll be playing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Uh-huh. Yeah. Have a good day. Slam. <laughs> there oh, it is. Hi, Philip. Oh, that's right. You're the Hey, Phil, if the, you know what? Hey, guys, take a, take a break. Hang on a second. If the choir room's open, let's move in there because that way we don't have to move a piano. Sorry, let's see if the choir room's open. <laughs> Push it up against that wall. Feel that pushing. Push it up. I don't even know if that actually really works. The karate chop thing. Oh my god. Does it really works. Yeah, I have to read this too. Oh, yeah. I'm more silent. I'm still here. I need to hear you. Hey. This is an orchestra. You gotta belt it, belt it. Cause I had a bouncing cloud. She's a funny girl that bad. Keep going. Keep going. Here goes. Here's the key dream. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I play Maurice, uh, Belle's father. I am a uh, idiosyncratic inventor. Very creative and a little bit silly. You really think so? You know I do. I always have. Quite honestly, every time Dave Smith needs an old man in a Evangel University production, he calls me on the phone and I try it out and uh, I did a little preparation. I haven't landed every role that I've uh, tried out for, but I did land this role with a little preparation and help from Dr. Honey in the music department. I enjoy playing the part. I enjoy the uh, more uh, close and intimate relationship with students and get to seeing them in their down and dirty uh, production mode. And it's very enjoyable. At late hours, I don't like that. It's against my religion. But uh, I, I like, and I especially enjoy the productions and the finished product. That's, that's, that's the payoff. Uh, my character's name is LeFou, and he is Gaston's kind of drinking buddy slash um, go-to guy to run errands or go get his deer for his wedding feast. Um, I wanted to play LeFou even before um, I knew that we were doing the show when they were talking about the show. Um, it's always been a dream of mine to play him. I've, I saw Beauty and the Beast on Broadway um, the day before it closed, and I really fell in love with that character. Well, Chip is Mrs. Potts' son, and he's just, he was a boy at once, and then he turned into a chip. I guess he has a little chip in his cup, like a crack in his cup. That's why they call him Chip, and also he's a cub. No, really, this is the greatest thing. It's the thing that everybody's been waiting for since, <sighs> since, well, I don't know when. Oh, right, Chip, what is it? There's a girl in the castle. And uh, he's just living in the castle with the beast, and he's just pretty much the only kid there. I've always had great respect for theater people from Paul Newman on down. Uh, the craft, I, I highly respect it, and I, uh, I admire people who attempt it at every level, from amateurs to somewhat pros. 
uh, to all the way to the really the legends. Being a theater major is really it's really fun. I didn't start off as a theater major. I started off as music and then communications, and then I came to the theater department my sophomore year after taking improv freshman year, and. It's, it's been really fun, it's been really re rewarding to me. I feel like I found my niche here in the department and the interactions I have with the people in the department are really fun. I, I get along with pretty much everyone, you know. It's kind of hard not to get along with me. But, um, you know, there are moments where drama does happen, you know, someone didn't tell someone that we were going to rehearse on the stage at a certain time when someone else had the stage and, um, you know, moments like that get frustrating, but they usually get worked out and everyone's back to being friends. Everybody's just really nice, just come up to and giving you hugs and just like being a whole big family. So I got to go to the, this year, I got to go to the uh, uh, cafeteria, it's the first time, and I got to go with everybody. Just uh, and Gavin paid for me, and it was pretty fun because like like it's tons of stuff, whatever you wanted, so it's it's pretty fun. I thought that was fun. Hopefully, I got the right view. Awesome. show. I'm stage managing. That means that first of all I'm the liaison between the director, the assistant director, the set builder, the props mistress, the choreographer, the music director, and the costumer. And besides that I also run tech which means I run all the backstage. I make sure that the sets are on in the right place. I get all the props in the right place. I'm responsible for lighting fire and torches and keeping actors from going up in flames. <laughs> The original stage manager actually had to drop out and I was living back home in West Virginia and I kept getting all these desperate Facebook messages and emails from people begging me to come back and stage manage so we finally worked it out. I'm actually living in an RV right now so that I can work this job. I am playing guest on. Oh yes, Hi. this is for you. And I think it's probably the funnest role in the whole play because you just get to be ridiculous all the time. You get to sing a lot of songs. And girls touch me. I mean, that's always a plus, isn't it? I, uh, I grow it overnight, actually. I, I try and shave it every night, and then in the morning it grows back. Um, I'll shave it after the show again because uh, I just don't like how it feels. But would you like to get in nice and close? It's got a great texture. Mostly I shave it off because girls love it too much. Uh, they try and lick it off my body, and I'm just not all huge on that kind of weird stuff, so <laughs> just try and get it off as soon as I can. And I'm basically a very loving, motherly teapot to the beast and everyone else in the castle. Um, my son is Chip, and um, I have to push him around everywhere, and it gets annoying beyond all get out. I'm gonna have a really buff arm at the end of the show, though, so um, that'll be exciting. Mm. Henry, Henry, we are I you like your watch. watch. <laughs> That's all you true. can say. Talk about the show. The what show is great. great. I, we are the beast. <laughs> <laughs> the beast. Both of you played the beast. No, no we, we are the beast. beast. <laughs> What? Oh, okay. okay.
fine. We are the beast, both of me. <laughs> um, being a theater major, I would say first is a lot, a lot, a lot of work. I know a lot of people will come in and they think this will be an easy major and they don't realize how much time they're going to be spending not only in the classroom writing papers but they're going to be living in the theater and that's what we do we'll come in at five o'clock when your call is and you won't leave until one two o'clock in the morning and that's on a good night when you're set building you might stay a lot later um, but it's so incredibly rewarding because it is art. And anybody who's artistic and creative can tell you that there's nothing that will make you happier than being able to create and being able to live out your passion. And theater people are, <laughs> they're some of the most special people in the world. It's always an adventure. Of course, they're all very dramatic on stage and off, but I, I wouldn't have it any other way. It is thoroughly enjoyable to be here in this theater performing this show. Um, I mean, I just like to do stuff, and I'm always too busy, as I am right now, but uh, I'd rather be too busy than not doing anything at all, and I've gotten to meet a lot of new people this semester and spent some time getting to know them here at the show and stuff, so I'm really glad I did it. I did feel a little weird coming in at first because I didn't, like, I knew people, but not very well. But um, I think I've grown to like people. Um, <laughs> But um, I really enjoyed um, meeting all these people and getting to become friends with them, and it's been fun. Especially Gavin, because he's a creeper. <laughs> kind of a killjoy, kind of a buzzkill, always trying to calm everybody down when they're trying to have fun. Kind of, kind of annoying at times, but um, I find I can play that character pretty well. <laughs> yeah, Matt! He's a proper British gentleman, but he is quite annoying at times. He's more scared of the beast than anything else. My role is a Lumiere, and he is, this is a candlestick from the movie. Um, he's kind of a womanizer, he thinks he's a big pimp, but uh, he really has a good heart. What is that? It appears to be a winding handle of sorts. Get it off me! It won't come off! Uh, the Beast. I've described the Beast as kind of the Diet Coke version of the Phantom of the Opera. Um, he gets the girl at the end, and he gets to be pretty when he comes back as the prince. Uh, but he's kind of got that whole, I'm lonely because nobody wants to be nice to me because I'm ugly. Um, I don't want to be nice to anybody else because I'm ugly. The I'm ugly, you're ugly, leave me alone. And I think it's not to, you know, wax philosophical about Disney for very long, but I think it's very indicative of our culture. Culture built around pretty people. And I think very indicative of our culture about the, uh, the invulnerability between man and woman. Um, it can also be seen as the inability to communicate and how one person views the other person as a monster and the other person just wants them to come down to dinner. So he is sad, he's lonely, and when Belle finally cracks that facade a little bit, he just relishes in the opportunity to be kind to somebody because he really wants to show the world and his servants and his friends and 
people he's grown up with that he he can't do this. He can't be nice. He can't be kind. <laughs> character is Belle in Beauty and the Beast. Um, she's the heroine of the story and she's just a really smart, um, fun-loving, book-loving girl and she falls in love with the Beast. It's a great story. Being in the theater department is, is a lot of fun. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is what goes on backstage. Hey. The antics backstage are just crazy people. I think everybody was very welcoming. Um, being a music major, coming in, I did have a little bit of a reservation trying to mix in with the theater majors, but I was a theater major at my old school, so I mean, I'm kind of used to being around these type of people and stuff, and it's, it's far different. Like, the theater kids here are far different than the theater kids at my old school, so it's just different in a good way in a good way. It's not so aggressive, backstabbing, catty people, so <coughs> it's a lot better. I don't know if I've ever met a more charming group of people than my friends that I've made here at Evangel Theater Department. Um, we get new ones every year. We, we retain some of the old, but I trust these young men and these young women, and I love them, and uh, I hope that they do the same with me. I, uh, there, are, there are truly rare opportunities in your lifetime where you get to see another person <coughs> explode in their art form, or explode in what, in what God the abilities that God gave them, the abilities that they've, been, they've had bestowed upon them, and I get to do it all the time. I just get to just love it. I, I hardly ever miss an entrance, but if I do, it's because I'm backstage giggling or laughing and, or crying with some, some of my friends that I've made here. I don't know, I think, I think if I met these people on the street, and had a little bit of an opportunity to, to talk to them, I think I would have loved them the same as I do now, perhaps. But there's nothing like this experience to bring somebody closer to you when you both go through the, the trenches of hell together that is being on stage, and you come out of the other side smelling like roses. It's just nothing makes you look at that other person and go, well done. Well, I am a music theater major, and I'm very excited to be one of the first um, to have that degree. Kind of, it's kind of bad being one of the first because you're kind of like the the little test, but um, but it's really cool. I started out with a um, music major and a theater minor, and so it just fit in perfectly, and it's totally a god thing. So it's a lot of fun. I love being in the theater department. Everyone here is so wonderful. And I have so many friends. That's great. <laughs> we hang out too late a lot, but that's okay. Community is everything. Uh, in, in most departments, people aren't married at the hip. At this one, you have to be because it's such a small department. But it's one where people, they work for each other. Even behind the scenes, if somebody's car is not working, you'll find members of the theater department becoming a community. They're just like a parachurch structure. No different than a church. In fact, this is 
the church. And uh, I'm amazed at how, how they make connections with one another. It's amazing also to think that if, if you come into a small group like this and you really don't like people, you, you probably, I don't care how talented you are, you're not going to be married to, to the community of what's going on right here. And uh, that's what I'm proud of, how these students are family. Family in every sense of the word. Cheer me for you. It is you. The single man, Mr. David Smith, he's not enough for a show like this. You gotta attract other very talented people like Patrick Bogle, like like uh, yes. Dr. Wisdom, like Lindsay Sanders, like Jordan Thomas, like Aaron Jacobs, the list goes on, like Jonathan Ramey. The musical is a conglomerate of wonderful professionals. It, it's a show that everybody knows, everybody loves. Personally, it's my favorite Disney movie from growing up, and I know it's a lot of people's favorite Disney movie. And it's going to be a huge kickoff to start our musical theater major. Um, there have been moments where I've been stressed and I've been down, but what we're trying to do has been accomplished, and that makes it worth, it, worth all the stress and worth all the time. You know, as somebody who didn't really grow up with Beauty and the Beast, it wasn't actually my favorite Disney movie. I am completely charmed by this show. There's so many great moments and it's funny. I'm really excited about the play. I've never been in a show like this. It's been a lot of fun working on it. Um, it's never boring. It's, there's always something new and exciting, so they always keep us entertained. So I was really excited because I'm a big Disney fanatic and so... It's playing the part as the actor. It's very, very challenging. Um, I have to stay in what we would call athletic position for two and a half hours, and my legs get very tired. Um, probably because I'm more out of shape than anything. But um, I put a lot of thought into it, a lot of imagination into it, and it, uh, it's going to turn out for the best, I believe. Seven minutes to on-stage warm-up. <laughs>